Happy Friday. We're doing kind of an unusual Friday night stream. Um, it's actually a very special occasion, though. I, uh, I have an email that I use for all my streaming stuff um, that I never check. It's just for my account for the different YouTube channels and my normal Gmail. Um, but it's listed there on my YouTube channel. So if you have business inquiries or whatever, you can email me on that, that email address. Um, and I don't check it. But I, I logged into it um, uh, last week, I want to say. Yeah, uh, yeah, last week, about a week ago. I logged into it, just kind of, just kind of figuring out, like, let me get back into there, make sure there's nothing important. And um, there was something important. About a month ago today, actually, um, a game developer company emailed me. And um, this is a small studio. It's uh, Mad Goat Studio. And it's actually based, they're based out of Romania, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, small studio, just like three or four people, I think the website says. And they reached out and said, hey, we have this game, and would you be interested in covering it and reviewing it? And uh, the game is called Northern Lights, which you can see here on the screen. It's a, uh, let me just read what it says so I don't get it wrong. It's an open world survival simulation set in the extreme conditions of the Arctic tundra. Clinging to life, you must use real world survival techniques to gather resources, craft, and hunt while tending to your health and sanity. Um, and that sounds cool. Uh, the game came out in December 2020 originally, and they, uh, according to the, the dev that I spoke with in the email, um, they didn't really do very much marketing or kind of push the game at all. They put out a pretty big update last month, uh, December 2021, which overhauled a lot of stuff, and um, he said that the players that have played it already are just responding really positively to that, and they're trying to do kind of a marketing push now. So they gave me a key to the game, so this... Uh, this episode, this stream technically, I guess, is sponsored because they gave me this game to play, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, I thought it'd be a really fun thing to do on kind of like a special Friday night. And I haven't played much survival simulation on stream. I don't think I've played any that technically fall into that. I have dabbled in the genre off stream, um, a little bit of the forest, the long dark games like that. And I, I'm actually really excited to see what this is all about. I haven't read any reviews. I watched their, uh, their like, you know, trailer, the, uh, the, the video announcement for the patch. Um, and it looks, it's a gorgeous game. It looks really cool. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna play this and it's gonna be very fun. We're gonna do a new player. Um, oh, they, oh, they don't have it yet. I was gonna say, oh, they added in cooperative because I saw that was like a request, um, coming soon. Okay. Yeah, this is, this game is from what I understand, it would be perfect for co-op. Okay. Experience a single player mode of Northern Lights. Starting a new game will not erase your previous progress. Resourceful. Be the hunter, become hunted. You will often find yourself struggling for survival. New or experienced players looking for balance, exploration, survival. Okay, okay. What else do we have? Wanderer, that's peaceful mode. Wildlife, don't attack unless provoked. There's nothing below that. Elements are calm. Ooh, God. Elements are challenging. Abundant resources. Survivor is next up from that. We're not doing that one. Oh my god, this higher? Okay, pray. Everything is against you. Yeah, no, we're doing uh we're doing resourceful. And we want the tutorial. Yes, please. That is what we want. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. This is cool. So far, music is great. Music. A plus. It has that like that kind of somber, sad kind of winter feel to it, which is appropriate. Um, like that menu music would be appropriate for kind of like the slow motion montage of the aftermath of like the Nazi push into Russia, like in the winter, like that sort of feel to it. Like everyone's dead and it's cold. Speaking of, Northern Siberia. September 13, Northern Siberia. Come on, Bellatrix. Behave. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, all right, all right, let's start moving around. I got distracted. Um, there's no, there's no, like, HUD. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a bit of a HUD. I mean, like, a directional map HUD. Oh, map and compass. Okay. In order to navigate through Arctic wastelands, you will make use of your map and compass. Map and access using M. 
When you start your game, the map is incomplete. Makes sense. To reveal more regions, you need to find the missing map pieces. Okay. Use the compass to press and hold C. Press space to continue. So that's what it is. I held, I held C. Oh my god. Okay. So like in Skyrim, it'd be the thing at the top. Um, am I see-through? Oh, yeah. We're not used to... We're not used to bright games. That's what it is. Uh, I do want to fix that because that actually looks that looks looks pretty silly. Um, yeah, we are definitely not used to bright games on this channel. I thought that too when I first saw the uh, like the trailer video for this. I'm like, holy crap! That is going to be. And one of the uh, this one, the mirror thing, is still one of the characters on my shirt here. You actually can't see it all because of the chroma key. But there, it's green. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want to mess this up completely, so let's make a duplicate. Um, save that. Mute that. Change this now. Okay. Oh, I can actually save a little bit there. I seem to find, uh, like, well, it's better now because the, the game is paused and the, it's darker when it's paused. Um, yeah. I just need to find, I need to find better shirts to wear on stream is what it is. I need to find shirts that don't even, like, close approach my chroma key color. Oh, that's better. That's much better. All right, cool. Thanks for the heads up, Ted. All right, so we have the compass, and I was saying, like, in a game like Skyrim, this, this, this directional indicator would just be like up, up at the top of your screen there. But this is this is survival, so it actually is a thing you pull up and look at and navigate. Okay, so let's check out the map. Oh, that's very cute. I wonder if time probably does not pause while you have the map out. Um, so we are already wasted. We are literally burning daylight. So we got a backpack here. Uh, it looks like there's like tool slots on the outside. Food, I think. Yeah, food and drink, it looks like. We got a medicine pouch. We got a can. And we can harvest it or destroy it. Oh, okay. And we got, we got a stick pouch. That's great. I love having storage for sticks. Quest, craft a tool. Find the stone hatchet blueprint. This is already, it feels a lot like the forest. Um, with this kind of, this journal method of menu. Um, okay, so... Identification for plants and diseases. Oh, here's my skills. That's cool. Take notes. Craft. Stone hatchet. Is that what we want? Gather resources. Yes, so we want a stone hatchet. We need stone. Two stone, one stick, one rope. You can carry and boil water with a can. Is that is that like real life fun fact, Ted? Or is that uh, in-game fun fact? Do you know things about this game that I don't? Okay, so sticks. We're gonna need a lot of sticks, it looks like. Oh, there's a there's a moose over there. There's a moose. There's a whole last moose. Oh, sprint. I have a stamina bar down there. My, my mouse buttons don't do anything. We need we need sticks. Okay. Sticks and stones, and we're gonna break some some animal bones. Okay. Everything pick up goes straight to the inventory. Right mouse button to interact. Take oh, take E. There we go. Cool. Find a variety of herbs in the Arctic flora. Plants, mushrooms, berries. Some will kill you. Unknown mushroom. Take. Take. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. We, we need sticks. We need sticks. We have one stones. We need stick and rope. That's not a rock I can pick up. I'm scared of what the two bars on the stamina mean. Just because I I love sprinting in video games. Can I pick up those sticks? <gasps> Egg! Nest! Trees can be chopped down. Yes, got it. Cool. I have a nest in my pocket. Yeah. Oh, what was that? I got a mushroom off a tree. I'm just running around uh, pushing E now just to pick everything up. Um, yeah, so I like sprinting in video games, because I hate, I hate walking slow. There's rope? All right. But in games like these, you don't want to sprint all the time, because you're, 
your uh, your stamina is not necessarily a renewable resource. And I said that entire sentence while just running, ignoring what the words were coming out of my mouth completely. All right, so roots. The roots are the rope. That's interesting. God, we need we need sticks. The nest is tinder. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, in real life, nest would make a great fire starter. And if the birds are still in it, then you got you get your dinner there too. That's terrible. Are those sticks that I can pick up? Those look those look pick upable. Are these pick up sticks? Yes, yes they are. Give me the sticks. All right, cool. So we can uh, we can hatch it now. We can Gary Paulson up in this. All right. Uh, no, we need. Oh, what? Missing required items. I thought I could make a hatchet. Oh, we need another stone. It's two stone, one stick. I thought I, I thought he said it was around. I can't find which stones are pickupable. Those ones feel like they should be, and they are not. feel like we have already died. I know this is like the tutorial, but I, I don't feel confident about my progress so far. And I don't even know, is, is the sun moving? Time might be frozen during the tutorial, and if that's the case, well done, Mad Goat Studios. Hold my hand through this tutorial, please. Don't let the sun go down on me until I have made a hatchet. Hey, here we go. Okay, cool. Uh, this button. Craft. We have made a hatchet. Oh, we can make a torch, too. Alright. We can throw the hatchet. Oh, this is my kind of game. Okay. Bo oh, body temperature. Shit. Then next to a heat source, stats can be tracked by pressing T and interacting with your watch. Oh. 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 That's very cool. Do I have... I don't have a temperature gauge anywhere else on my HUD. I have to look at... I'm sure there'll be, like, freeze indicators coming in on my on my face there. Oh, it also says the temperature. That's a useful watch. Okay, we need a... Okay, cool. We have, we have logs. Hands are busy. Yeah, they are. Drop the chop load by pressing right mouse button. Okay. Firewood. How do I make firewood? Uh, harvest? Firewood! Oh, hell yeah! There should be a hotkey for harvest. And there might be. Okay. Um, make fire. Storage. Log holder. Yeah, these storage things... This feels very forest. So that's cool. This, this, so far this game feels like it's the forest without the scary mutants. Um, can I just make a fire? Can I just put that right there? Uh, build. Oh, yep. The build interface works like the forest as well. I need more sticks. Does this give me sticks when I chop down tree? Or is it just log? Oh, it does give sticks. Cool. Starting a fire. To start a fire, craft yourself a fire starter item and find some tinder. Dry items work best. Don't forget to constantly add fuel so it keeps burning. Makes sense. Um, go on, Bella. Go. And get in the way of my survival. Okay. We need to make... Tinder is what it said? Is it in... Oh, there's a whole fire tab. Oh. But that's not what we need. Traps. Oh, sh that's cool. Shelters. We're going to need that soon. Cured gear pelt. Stick bed. Stick bed's what we're going to be sleeping in first. <laughs> oh, we can actually probably make that with enough stuff, too. Unknown plant. Unknown mushroom. I'm worried that there's the only way to find out how to uh, find out what mushroom is what is by eating them. 
So we need to craft a hand drill. So we need a stick and spruce bark. How do we know what, what tree is a spruce? I don't know. Um, this tree is not dead. This tree is dead, but the, the asset is still there. Okay, I found a bug. It's a minor thing. Um, oh. Oh, can I throw this? I want to try. Yes, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's cool. Is this actually doing anything? Is my hatchet dying? I see a little thing down there now. Oh, I think it is. I think the hatchet has a life. Where do I get spruce bark from? Huh. Okay, so it looks like each little stick pocket can hold uh, six right now, so I've got 24 stick storage. Holy shit, I can fit a lot of firewood in here. Is this... Oh, it's a grid system. Oh! That's clever. It did not look like that at all at first. I like that a lot. That can is problematic. Alright, I, I don't have time to... to uh, inventory manage. Foods. Hatchet. Don't destroy. Okay. Is it colder in this the shade? No. Okay. Oh, I just saw shadows move. Oh, shit. Time is real. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, we need spruce bark. Surveying. There's a location nearby. Best way of finding locations by using binoculars to survey the area. Upon surveying location, its name and icon will appear on your map. Survey using binoculars, press V, vision will lock to it, and it'll appear on your map. That's kind of cool. All right, so binoculars. Oops, I have to hold it. Let me get up on this hill. Oh, is it probably the cabin? We need to check that out. Yeah, I don't know what it's looking at that rock. It's a nice boulder. New map entry, question mark? Yeah, it's the cabin. Okay, let's go check out the cabin. Uh, in the meantime, we do need some more rocks so we can uh, make a replacement hatchet because our hatchet is about to die. And it looks like... Oh, is this moose? Oh, no. The setting we're in means that moose probably won't attack me. I think. I really want to throw my, my axe at the moose, though. That's now a goal I have. It's an ambition, really. I'm bringing this uh, firewood over here to this cabin. Um, this might be where we hunker down for the rest of the day. Um, just because I don't feel well equipped to really do much else currently. Afflictions and treatments. Okay, various afflictions can be contracted during the playthrough. Um, yeah, in, in real life, moose are terrifying. I know, yeah. Moose, they're, they're huge, too. They're so big. Mooses, moosin, meese, something like that. Um, I really hope that I can't, I'm not going to be able to catch dysentery, because I don't want this to be, I guess, yeah. The Oregon Trail is a survival simulation that I've played. Um, Oregon Trail is like the first of the, the survival simulations. It might not be the first. It feels like the first. Affliction risk is not yet an affliction. It's taco warning, not taco watch. Uh, or the other way around. I don't know. <laughs> in the process of becoming one, not dealt with in time. To find treatment, you have to use a journal, use clues, experiment with different items. Oh, God. Some afflictions cure themselves. Others require using natural remedies or synthetic medicinal items. Treatment progress of affliction is represented by a green bar, while the yellow bar represents the risk chance of contracting infliction. Oh! Oh, very cool. Okay. Uh, affliction contracted. Hypothermia risk. Son of a bitch. Don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, these are not the these are not the pages I'm looking for. We need the spruce bark still. Where was afflictions? 
Oh, I know. I know. It's cold, buddy. I know. I know. I don't think we're going to... I think I've already screwed up. We need spruce bark. And it is getting dark. Yep. It is two hours have passed since the last time I looked at that. The door is freaking out, man. There we go. You can salvage the furniture. Oh, yeah. Give me that blueberry juice. Cooking pot. That's useful. I know. Match. Oh, hell yes. Okay, we need to find, like, a fireplace. Can we just use this, this stove to get warm? Cooking spots can be used to cook various food items. Several ways of cooking food. Easiest, place is, easiest way is just set the food in the fire. Some items can be brewed into infusions with the aid of a small container. And others can be made into soup inside a big container. Food can be boiled. Snow can be melted. Oh, cool. Okay, so can we use this? Uh, Tinder. Let's use that bird's nest. Let's test Ted's theory. Yeah, yeah, that worked great. Oh, is it better? Are we feel better? Hypothermia risk. It's still there. I'm no longer cold, which is good. Canned food. Oh, that's useful. I feel like these books would make really good fuel. As much as I don't want to condone burning books in, like, a survival or apocalyptic situation, exceptions must be made. Sleeping! It's the best way to restore energy, and the only way to save the game. The rest of your stats will decrease over time. Pay attention to how much you sleep, and make sure you have the necessary resources to do so. Interesting. Am I still... I no longer am at risk of hypothermia. That's great. Cooking spot. Do I have anything to cook? Can I just cook the the pork and rice? Yeah, I'm just gonna put that there and see what happens. Uh, we need some more fuel in here. Oh no, we're good. I think. Hard to tell what that means. I think it goes into the circles back to white. A single match. There's enough copies of, of the Da Vinci Code to last a forever in a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I 100% uh, believe that. Unknown effects. Uh, consume. We uh, gain three sanity and 58 hunger and a can from eating those pork and rice. I don't think I needed to heat it up, but I did, did anyway, so that's fine. Alright, I just want to check out these other... Uh, Oh, that's not harvestable firewood. It's probably, like, waterlogged and frozen, so that makes sense. I can salvage the furniture. Dried beef. Um, another stove, which is great. It's getting real windy out there. Storage! Oh. Because you only got so much inventory space. How do I just, like... Take it. I don't, I don't want to drink it. I want to put it in. Put it in my juice pocket. There we go. Okay. All right. Match. Oh, yes. Give me the match. Is this all drag and drop? I feel like there should be like a control click, alt click. Oh, was there? I, I did. What did I just do? I don't remember what was in there, but I think I grabbed it. We'll try again on the next one. I think it was alt-click. I'm just running into these rooms with abandon. Oh, maybe it's double-click. Maybe I'm just... I'm, I'm not isolating my... Yeah. I wasn't isolating my variables. I was just doing all the buttons at once. So yeah, double-click uh, quick moves into your, your pockets. The juice pocket is your Morris Day in the Time cover band. <laughs> That's good. Uh, clothing. Are we naked? You can carry clothes on yourself, but not on your backpack. Equipping a new clothing item will swap your current one with it. Oh, okay. Oh, rain pants. What are we wearing? Ow, Bellatrix. Honey. That was a preemptive out. She didn't actually get me. Okay, you need to go. Go on. Noxious. Um, how can we see what... <laughs> what are you wearing? Um, what do we have on our purse. Oh, right here. Great. Jeans. Leather boots. So jeans, I want to look at, see if those colors on the bars are stat comparison. They usually are stuff like that. 
Um, looks like each item has durability as well. We need to get back in that, that, that fire. So it is less cold, but more whatever the stamina thing is. I think I want the cold protection. I know, like, if they just gave me, gave me pants, but I am going to reject the pants gift. Okay, so we are over encumbered. Go back over here to the, which means we can't sprint. Uh oh, oh no! Apparently I never turned off, uh, like, hey, do you want to turn on sticky keys? Which is kind of annoying. And I just hit shift a bunch of times. I need to change that. <laughs> okay, let's get out of the cold. I should close the door. All right, about six o'clock. How are we doing on on all the stats, stat wise? Um, good. Is the I think the the big raindrop is probably thirst. So let's let's try some blueberry juice. Consume. Oh, now it tells us what happens when you drink it. Hydration, four dehydration, two energy, four sanity. That's sanity stat. Makes me a little nervous, not gonna lie. That's a little scary. Games that track sanity. Those are fun games. Let's make another stone hatchet. I gained one sanity by crafting, too. Oh. And let's arm ourselves. Get that spear. We need spruce bark. We need a lot of spruce bark. What are we missing for the stick knife? I wish it showed, like, on this page here, because it says, like, one stone, one rope, two stick, and it says I'm missing required items. I wish it showed on this page what my quantity of items in my pockets are, so I know what I'm missing. Because now it's like I have to remember one, one, two, okay, and then go into, into here, and then I've already forgotten what I need. <laughs> it's not sticks. We got sticks. Stone. Okay. That wasn't that hard to figure out, but be a little quality of life thing. Okay. I don't think I want to go to bed yet. Um, I just lost sanity by destroying a table. Interesting. So when you're crafting, you gain sanity. That tree is... This tree is being very rude and not obeying like the laws of physics or hitboxes or collision settings. Cooking pots. I thought I had more cooking pots than two. All right, so we got all kinds of food. We're, we're doing pretty good here. Um, I wanna harvest one of these cans and see what happens. Scrap metal. Hi, Joshy. You're losing your sanity watching that tree. Yeah, no kidding. How's it going, Jeepers? I saw your messages. I'm I, sorry, I haven't replied yet. Yeah. So, oh, I lost. I lost one of my hatchets. Uh oh. Whoopsies. Hi, Bellatrix. Oh, don't destroy. Don't destroy. Equip. How do I equip? That's not, that's not at all how I threw it on the ground. Take. Now it's in my hand. A parker is required for a knife. Oh, yeah. Say hi, Bellatrix. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ugh. They're so obnoxious. So, what time is it? Seven o'clock. Oh, gloves. Oh, but they're... I don't know what those stats are. What are those? So... The gears, the cold... The cold's obvious. The, the shield... Ow, the shield's obvious. Um, okay. You gotta, you gotta stop that, honey. Go on. Um, yeah, the cold, it's like, you know, temperature protection and defense. 
I don't know what the running man is, except the running man is the same as that I have down there by stamina, so maybe it's like if I have better stamina gear, then my stamina drains slower. I don't know what the gears are. No idea on that front. So I don't actually want to pick him up because... Yeah. Crafting efficiency? Yeah, maybe. Like crafting speed, maybe? Can I harvest the gloves? Inventory full. No, I cannot, but they're gone. The gloves are gone, and I got an inventory full warning. Because my inventory management is terrible. Why aren't you fitting there? There we go. It's like a, it's like a little Jenga. Actually, I just wanted, yeah, let's just harvest. Hi, energy bar. There we go. Thank you for explaining this now. Through the day, you'll gradually lose energy. The less energy you have, the less stamina you can use in actions. Okay. Well, which is which? I think energy is white, stamina is yellow. Because to restore energy full, you need to sleep. The yellow bar recharges after I, like, sprint or whatever. The white bar does not. So the white bar is energy and it recharges when I sleep. You can find energy bar lower left of the screen. Energy is the amount of time you can spend exploring before going back to sleep. Oh, that makes sense. I like that. That's a good tip. Uh, yeah, I really want this scrap metal because I feel like that's going to be super useful in crafting. Alright, so I am still carrying too much crap. And I. Oh, I'm doing good on my stats. It is nice and toasty in here. A balmy 38 degrees Celsius. Um, we don't need this much firewood. So I'm going to. This is my firewood carpet. <laughs> Try to get it. There we go. Alright, that's my firewood my firewood trunk. Okay. Not that one. But now oh now I'm still I'm still pretty overloaded. What's what is so heavy? Probably these things. Or all these sticks. It doesn't really tell me how how we how how weighy how heavy all the items are. Alright, I want to sleep. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just, you just straight up sleep. There's no like, are you sure you want to sleep? It just does it. But, okay, so you see my hunger and hydration are going down. And I can manually wake up and be like, alright, we're done. Um, yeah. Interesting. So, like, my sanity and stamina and stuff have already been completely restored. So it says, you're good to go. Let's go. Even though it is 2 in the morning. All right, our fire went out, which is kind of a bummer. We're out of tinder, which is an equal bummer. Is rope a tinder? No. Did I just lose that rope too? Uh-oh. Uh, this is not like a horror game, at least not that I know of. Uh, it is, um, as far as I know, strictly survival. There is a sanity stat, however. Um, but yeah, it's not survival horror. Uh, except for the fact that the doors clone. That's interesting. I don't know what happens if your sanity's gone. It's it's only like, it has only mentioned sanity offhand in the tutorial. It says, oh yeah, and your sanity can go up and down. Um, there are now two doors on this door. Which is kind of neat. It's 2 a.m. and it is nice and bright out, which I was about to make fun of, but we're in Siberia and that happens sometimes, so that's fine. I'm like so scared to go anywhere. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. We need to find spruce. We need to find spruce bark. And I have... 
I have. Are you are you a spruce? No. <laughs> Hello, are you spruce? God, we have too much shit in the pockets too. Well, it's okay. We'll. Okay, we don't need more sticks. Put the sticks down. Can we quick swap weapons? Yes, we can. Fantastic. Can I throw a spear at a moose? I don't know if I want to do that right now. That seems like a bad, bad idea at this stage in the game. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, the sun would go down or and probably be down for most of the winter. Maybe it's maybe it's in the summer. Actually, no, it literally said it's September 13th. So that's not, I don't think that's a time that would be, um, you know, like eternal, eternal sunshine. Uh, we have, we have all the sticks in the world. We have two, honestly, just too much food. Um, oh, the eggs are going to decay. Oh, there's a decay time. That makes sense. This mushroom's good. These mushrooms are going to go bad in nine hours. Let's eat one. They're good mushrooms. Don't know what they are still, but they give you five hunger and five energy. That's great. Uh, that's a destroyed dried plant. That might be tinder. These are going to go bad too. One hunger, three energy. I'm just eating mushrooms. I'm just straight up eating free mushrooms. Okay, we need that spruce bark. The nests are good finds. We need to dump some shit too. We have too much, too much stuff. We need rocks, 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 rocks. Yeah, you don't get the bark when you salvage the trees so far. And, and all the trees appear to be pretty much the same. Um, okay, we're over encumbered again. Fuck. We probably don't need all this firewood. That's better. Oh, we have a lot of st stones too. I'll put that stone down. I need a better setup that my cats aren't like directly on my computer desk in the way of me playing, and so that y'all can see them too. Hands are busy. Sticks, logs. Uh, not that button. You're like, come on. Honey, you gotta stop. Okay. Nope, not there either. Go on. So I can make some of the stuff. Um, cured deer pelt. It says I can craft it. That doesn't sound right. I didn't. I haven't. I have no deer. I have no idea. Shelter, shelter. Oh, you know what? We're gonna make some storage so we can start. I'm just gonna make uh. All that firewood that I dropped. Pick the firewood back up. <laughs> um, we're gonna make storage and just start camping out and build up this little fishing cabin here. I think that's a good plan. I actually didn't even explore like the the rest of the cabin area fully. jump while either while holding this log or while over encumbered that's a floating bird's nest
Like, I'm not going to complain about stuff like that, you know, floating assets or whatever, because, like, literally Skyrim has those problems, too. And Skyrim is a huge game by a, an absolute mega corporation um, with a lot more than three people making the game. So I think we can cut this game a lot of slack when it comes to that. I, I ate it. I ate this, and it's also the unknown. Maybe, oh, is that, maybe I have to cook it? This is a source of calories, don't know what it is. Chaga mushroom, nothing happens if you eat it, but maybe, maybe things happen if you cook it. Oh, there's a lot, there's a lot to discover here. All right, come on, Bella, go on. Um, rock holder, log holder, rock lobster. Cool. Okay. Yeah, this is this is very much like the forest. Yeah. I want to kind of use like this main little courtyard area. I don't know. I don't know if it really matters. Just, just plunk it down. Stick, 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 sticks. There it is. Okay. So now this is for logs. Is that what it said? What if I just built log holder? Where's... I had a log. There's a log. Are you a log? Come here. Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Let's get some more logs. We're just gonna start, like, deforesting Siberia. my vitals how am i doing it's five in the morning great um a little peckish not too bad though a little cold not too bad we're doing all right stick 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 oh we're full on sticks okay really need that spruce bark though lots of lots of logs Because I feel like I have now advanced past the tutorial as it's still waiting for me to build a fire. Um, but I'm at the point where I'm now like building storage. I already found fire. Way to be part of the deforestation problem. Yeah, well, you know what? This is a life or death situation here. I think it's allowed. Oh, you know which tree I should deforest? This one. This rude tree that busts right through the bedroom bedroom wall. Does this work? No. No, it doesn't work. In, excuse me, unless you're able to uh, push E to harvest. Hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, he was threatening me. I thought he was waving hello. Affliction contract. Concussed. Go inside. Get inside. Double door. Protect me. There's only... There's two doors. <laughs> God. <laughs> Infection risk. All right. Well, let's make a fire. Okay. All right. We've learned some things. Um, One thing we learned... <laughs> Why did our man just laugh? That was really, really, really creepy. I don't like that. One thing we learned is not to stare down a moose. Okay, so it told us things like... Um, <laughs> Harry, did you put your name in the goblet afar? <laughs> we can do this. So we can water or melt oh, snow. We don't have water. Still we need... Try. Double door, I get it. Why is he talking? Oh, I just have snow. I just just have snow. Okay, I thought I'd have to go gather snow, but I can just push space and produce snow. Okay, so now I have water. Um, 
Can we just like boil a plant? What happens? Nothing? That's a dried plant. Did that do it? No. What about that plant? No. What about a mushroom? No. What about an egg? Hey! Make it hard boiled eggs! I can do one at a time. I can do one egg at a time. That's cool. These eggs are still good for another five days. That's great. Oh, can I just like grill a mushroom over there? You will never escape. What the hell? My cooking skill increased. That's that's great. Why why who is talking to me? Is this like secretly a horror game? Is that what's going on here? Have I been incredibly punked? Oh, I need more snow. That one egg in this pot um, used. Oh. I'm not hearing things, right? Okay, I'm not able to put things on those cooking spots. I can do that, can I? No, I can throw them. Is that, if that's this game talking, right? Do I have anything else? Any other applications? Making noise? No. Am I crazy? I'm scared now. <laughs> uh, huh. Hmm. Uh... Joshi, did you see that I have a Bellatrix emote? Yeah, never escape. Yeah. The clock is ticking. My infection risk is yeah, is it going up good or bad? I think I'm going to get infected from I'm going to get moose moose disease. Um egg how do I? Oh, I have to use. All right, let's 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 do another egg. That's cool. I like that. Stop trying. What the fuck? Cooking spot. Let's use that. Okay. Um. Yeah, that just that just went on the ground. I keep throwing things on the ground because I don't know what I'm doing. No, nope, not the not that. Oh, yeah, that. There we go. Great. Pick up plant. My vision got all like smoky because I crouched down in front of the fire. That's cool. You will never escape. Maybe, maybe I should like investigate what what the hell that is instead of just doo -doo -doo, cooking food <laughs> as like Satan taunts me. All right. Um, I really want to like cook a mushroom or something. But you will never escape. I didn't, I didn't like that one. Oh, I can do instant noodles in there. Why is why is it doing it like this? I would like to access this spot, please. Hello. Hello. Stats! You gotta pay attention to your stats! Health. Watch. Yes. How... How... Hmm. How do I look at my sanity? Because now I'm concerned. Is that... Is that here? No. Hallucinations. When you're concussed, you have hallucinations. Okay. Alright, we have a concussion because the moose hit us. 
Okay, all right, so my abrasion might become infected. We do need to we do need to figure this out. Applying a bandage will stop the bleeding, but infection will still occur. A bandage combined with natural antiseptic will stop infection from spreading. I don't know how to make that. Stop trying. Okay, I'm glad that it's it's the concussion. It's just the concussion talking. Um, instead of like, you know, the devil trying to taunt, you know, taunt me or whatever. Okay, what haven't, what have I not eaten yet? <laughs> let's just eat everything. Yeah, let's eat that. Consume that unknown plant. Lost sanity. Lost sanity. Got a fever. Cool. Don't eat that. I lost a ton of sanity. We're not doing good, guys. We're not doing good. Dried beef. Consume. Got a can. Gain sanity from eating dried beef. You'll love to see it. Okay, so... This now is a container. I'm putting some, some water in there. You have an egg ready to go. Let's put some more water in there. He's ticking. I need, I need this concussion to go away. Um, okay, so now, can I, like... No. What about this? No. Oh. oh, oh, I'm making a tea. How lovely. I can't access that cooking spot. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's get another egg in there, because that's all I can do there, apparently. Uh... Yeah, drink that. I consumed the unknown infusion. I gained two sanity and twenty hydration. That's great. Still would love some spruce bark. No, not that one. No. It was this this was it I thought it was one of these guys that did it. Maybe it's one of these. I don't know how I made that now. Unknown mushroom. No. Chaga mushroom. Uga chaga. Do the eggs stack? No, that's annoying. Oh, I don't have any I don't have any water in there, that's why. Okay. Whoopsie. Is the is the moose still waiting for me? No. Okay, great. Okay, back to back to testing. So this mushroom, unknown. This mushroom makes tea. Egg. Cook. Do the hard boiled eggs? Oh, they last for even less time. Oh no, it's just time's passed. Got it. Fever. Fever's bad. Sleeping will heat speed it up. Consuming an herb with an antipyretic component will speed up healing process. Consuming an item with an anti-inflammatory component. Alright, food poisoning. Also bad. Charcoal might aid in the healing process. That's neat. Okay. Yeah, let's get some sanity back. That's that's our sanity tea. That's good to know. Egg. All right, so infection risk is still present. Concussion, still present. <laughs> so the fever you can sleep to get rid of, but I don't think, did the game say anything about sleep with the concussion? That's fine. <laughs> Stop trying. Oh, I can pin the map. Oh, okay, so fishing camp. There's a bridge, a couple bridges. Because I bet if you just like, oh, boy. You just go into the water. That's probably bad. Like, that That feels like a cold thing. Uh, oops. How are we doing on uh, all the things? It is a little chilly. That moose Stop is trying. digging in the snow. 
and I'm I'm worried about it now. I think that moose is gonna haunt me. Maybe the moose is talking to me. Oh, frozen ice hole. Can I can I poke it? I can poke it. I don't have a fishing rod. Oh, well, that's actually pretty neat. How 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 make fishing rod? I need a bone hook. Cloth for bandage. <laughs> Cloth for rope. Okay. Stick knife, stone knife. Break my bone knife. Okay, so we have a knife now. Stone spear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ice all froze over again. That's neat. Is it... Why is it so... Is it just too, cloud, too cold for me? Is that what's going on here? My vision got all blurry. Is ticking. Maybe it's the fever. Maybe it's the concussion. Maybe it's the infection. Maybe it's it's Devil Moose speaking to my brain. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah, I do not want to go in the water. Inventory full of shit. Oh, my juice hole's not, not empty enough. This is... You will never escape. I have feedback on the inventory system. When you're dragging, it's great that it shows the grid, but it should show, like, the ghost of, of the object, like, where it's going to be put down, so you know... It's like, yes, this is a valid, a valid plunking spot. Yeah. Right now, I'm having I'm having trouble sorting things. I'm not 100% sure where objects are. Like this, this feels like that should go there. But I think, you know what it is? Even though it's, it's little art object here looks like a 2x2, two two, it is a 3x2 just like the other cans. So that's why. There we go. There. Okay. Got it. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, but having like a um, a selection ghost would be really helpful. And I don't, I don't know. I didn't really look into it. Um, because to be honest, like the uh the Steam reviews for this game. Like, you know how Steam kind of gives you, like, the overall, like, um, oops, too many, too many sticks. Too, frankly, just too many sticks. Gives you the overall, um, like, rating, essentially, of the game. And right now, this game is rated as mixed. So, neither pos overall positive or overall negative. And I think why that is, uh, and from what I understood in the, uh, the email that the, uh, the devs sent me, was that, um people had feedback uh this game came out december 2020 and um i guess players had feedback on parts of the game i don't know what you didn't look into it specifically escape. um but they put out a patch to address that and recent reviews seem to be better stick holder there we go so i don't know what changed in that patch overall i'm i'm enjoying oh sh oh okay, it's right there it's just very hard to see see the construction ghost Stick holder. Yes, put all the sticks, god damn it, in the place. You will never escape. Yeah. Sticks in the stick hole. It's another sorting game, everyone. Um, did I look inside all these these places? I can hack those down. Oh, oh, a lighter! Oh, how did I miss that? Yeah, because I came in here and checked these out. You Dried this. Dry le beef. Okay. <laughs> oh god, my infection is getting worse. It's 10 in the morning. Oh my lord. 
Can I, oh, can I harvest these now? Harvest pants. Rope, rope, cloth, cloth, <gasps> cloth. Oh, bandage, but I don't have antiseptic, so I can't make, I can't make like extra good bandage. I can just make okay bandage. All right. <laughs> Voices in my head need to shut up. <laughs> All right, another lighter? Hell yes. A fishing rod? That makes sense. We're in a fishing village. Another fishing rod. All right. People that lived here loved two things: fishing and fires. <laughs> Pillow. Stop trying. Salvage. Cloth! Yeah! Okay, silk balaclava. Um, presumably... Oh, it's... Oh, it's not like a head slot. There's like a face slot item. Oh, yeah, give me that. And now I have it. First aid? No. Why is there... Why is there an empty can in the first aid kit? Who did that? Okay, Rice. I really want to hack apart all those, those, uh, what is that? Rice on the ground, because I don't have room, got it. I really want to hack apart like all the furniture, but I, I don't think I can afford the extra sandy loss currently. Research books, oh, cool. Books can be scattered around the island, mainly in man-made locations. Fully researching a book will give you a reward. Always keep an eye on your stats before attempting to research a book as this process takes time. So they're saying, listen, don't starve to death over a book. Keep an eye on your stats before attempting to research a book as this process takes time. You always stop the researching progress and resume another time. Neat. Another fishing pole in the first aid kit where you'd expect it. Oh, it's just like the sleeping thing. Oh, okay. I really want to just like let this get down to the line research the whole thing i don't want to come back i know it's in yeah there we go yeah get me out of that book hell yes how much time did that take time's it where's my time button there it is t for time it's two o'clock fishing cooking pot no room wool beanie not not better than what i have he's ticking cans lots of cans all right, cool. There's a lot of lot of stuff in this this cabin, um, so I'm actually going to close the door so we uh, forget that we've already explored it and try to explore it again. Because <laughs> if the door's closed, that means it's unexplored, and that's called living with your brain. Um, okay, so we have we have a pot, and we should try to make things. We have no first aid. Can I make these instant noodles in here? Yes, I can. I have a new trap, a fishing tackle trap. Oh, so you can like, you can like set up a fishing fishing pole, automatic trappy thingy. Uh, you know what I mean, shut up. Um, yeah, fishing tackle, it says. Is fishing tackle the same as a fishing rod? Let's see. Stop trying. No, it's not. Fishing tackle is what we require. We need bone hook and rope. Got it. Okay, so the fishing rod is our handheld fishing device. We need a fishing tackle to create the snare. Okay. All right. Cool. Let me eat these. Uh, eat some ramen. Five sanity, fifteen hunger, or fifteen energy, thirty hunger. Cool. What is this item? Is this stick slot? Is that for a weapon? Can I just throw a hatchet there? Escape. No. Okay. Um, these buttons do um, quick swap, which is nice. My hatchet's just about dead. That infection is not looking good. I don't know how to fix that. We, I mean, I know how to fix it, but I don't know how to fix it. We need some sort of medicine, antiseptic. Antibiotic-like behavior, maybe. Will maybe escape. that'll help. Oh, the fire went out. Shoot. A 
That's actually really annoying because we have plenty of firewood. I just wasn't paying attention. Okay, so do we think that maybe, like, the Chaga Mushroom says antibiotic capabilities. But I think that just makes that, like, sanity tea that we've been drinking. Can I just eat one of these? Is that going to cure my... Is that going to cure my infected moose wound? No, not when you eat it, but when you drink it. It does not. Okay, let's make one more, and I have an idea. I want to pour that tea on a bandage. And then stick it on my moose wound. Miss some required items, okay. Uh, let's make some more mushroom, mushroom juice. Don't destroy the bandage. I can only consume and destroy. That's a bummer. All right, I don't know what to do there. Hmm. We're in a pickle. But first, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back in uh, just a couple minutes. I want to get some more coffee, some more water. And we'll be right back in a few minutes. All right, don't go anywhere. 